Oh, I'm in love. In case you're wondering if this is my motorcycle, no, it is not. Uh, it belongs to a good uh, friend. He, he's a customer as well of uh, my detailing studio. Uh, he wanted this motorcycle to be detailed and uh, he asked me to pick it up from his place. And I really feel very grateful and honored at the same time because I don't ride a big motorcycle yet he put the trust in me and gave me his 25 plus lakh motorcycle. Wow. I'm grateful man, Adrian. Thank you so much. As big as this motorcycle is, it's so damn easy to ride this. It just feels like a normal motorcycle. Of course, I know the problems start if, if the motorcycle gets dropped and you have to pick it up because it's well over 270 kgs. But otherwise, it's very easy because the center of gravity on this is very low thanks to the boxer engine. So it keeps all the weight very low down. Okay, what do we have here? Traffic jam? I take this road to avoid traffic and yeah, I found traffic here. Anyway, so I was saying the boxer engine. So as you can see, that's one cylinder head there and that's another cylinder head there. So I'll talk about the engine, uh, uh, how, they, how they work in a bit because I can't leave my hands here. So basically the mass is kept low down and that means it is not a top heavy motorcycle and it just becomes a very easy machine to ride. It's very well balanced. I believe this is going to be a brilliant machine for touring. Because you got loads of power, you got a very nice suspension and it's damn comfortable. Let me show you how easy it is to turn this motorcycle. turned it faster than a pulsar and you can even filter through in the traffic so easily with this it's as I said because the engine is mounted so down below all the mass is down so you don't have that top heavy feeling that you know you have to muscle the motorcycle to change directions so this motorcycle uses a hydraulic clutch and it's very, very easy to work with when you have to use the clutch that is because otherwise it has a very nice, very smooth quick shifter that works uh, supremely well at slightly the higher revs and I should show you that as well in a bit. Oh man, I love the sound of this engine. So the twin cylinder sound where you hear significantly different firings just blends into one as the revs climb. I don't know if the camera can capture it, but yeah, so that's a very nice sound. So if, not if, when I buy this motorcycle and I want to, I definitely want to have one of these. So when I buy this motorcycle, I'm just going to keep the stock exhaust. I'm not going to upgrade to an Acra or anything because the stock sound is very nice. That's from where I am sitting, I really enjoy the sound. The suspension on this is so complex. So in the front, you have the dampers separate and 
the spring separate i really don't know the technical term for this but it is absolutely beautiful because when i brake the bike doesn't dive see here 1 2 and 3 you see it just stays flat it there is there is a little bit of dive but i think that is good in order to balance the motorcycle but there is not too much of nose dive or anything so it's brilliant the way this dynamic suspension works on this i think it works together the the rear and the front suspension they work together in order to keep the vehicle as flat as possible oh and the rear suspension wow it's it's got a adjustable suspension so you can increase or decrease the ride height with just the press of this button here one of the scary places to go is this the nice road entry uh, because some places at the exit they have kept those uh, divider kind of things which go very close to these engine oh yeah and did i mention that this has a hill hold okay so let me show you that so here i'm on neutral and there's a little bit of an incline it's not much but enough to let the bike roll so hold the front brake hard and there you go hill assist now i don't need any brakes and it's not rolling god damn what a machine and how does it handle around the turns very nicely i'm not going to lean it too much i'm not doing a test ride here I'm just going to show you how easy it is to just take a turn on this Let's try that quick shifter now. <laughs> it just picks up speed so fast. So I want to keep it within the speed limit and not uh, mess around too much. So now back to the engine. And before I do do that, I will have to do something else, which is. use a beautiful feature on this motorcycle cruise control so right now it's off i do this it's on it's on there is the cruise control uh symbol and all i have to do is set and now it's set at 78 km per hour and the cruise control at with the with the cruise control even the quick shifter works there and there six gear oh this is amazing So it just works like a conventional cruise control even if I accelerate because the cruise is set at 78 it's going to bring me back to 78 and just keep me there. Oh man technology I don't know what to make of it. I mean I'm not a big fan of technology but this just spoils you. This this motorcycle can spoil you. And it's so stable. This motorcycle is absolutely stable. I haven't tried it at uh, very high speeds but I'm sure it is going to be stable. So that is the reserve warning and you use this wonder wheel over here to cancel that. There are a lot of features in this motorcycle which I have not uh, explored yet. Um not too keen on uh, exploring those things at the moment because I want to enjoy the ride. So, coming back to the engine. So in a conventional motorcycle Okay let's say a single cylinder or twin cylinder or four cylinder motorcycles are out there which have a regular engine so the engines are mounted vertically so the pistons go up and down and the crank rotates this way or this way okay whereas in this motorcycle it's a boxer engine so the engines the pistons are going to go left to right and the crank is going to rotate this way so when you start the motorcycle the motorcycle actually just it not does that it just moves from side to side because of the torque because of the torque steer okay and even on idling i have felt that the vehicle wants to just move around a little bit i think uh, there's another motorcycle called moto guzi the brand who also have a v v twin which works in a very similar way they have mounted it uh, transversely as opposed to like ducati is you know mounting it this way and as long as you have the technique to 
probably lift up the lift up this motorcycle if it if you drop it i think you are pretty much sorted yeah one last thing if you have the budget to buy it then you are pretty much sorted and the budget to maintain it Here you see how easy it is to manage in traffic. I mean, to be very honest, I wasn't a big fan of these big motorcycles up until now. This one is—it's pure love. It's unbelievable this motorcycle. And look at this sixth gear, 60 kilometers an hour, and it's fine. The low end torque is beautiful, and at this 2,000 rpm, it feels like an electric motor. There's absolutely zero vibes on the zero. So, 26 odd lakhs for this one, and uh, about 30 lakhs for the GSA. Do you think it is worth it? Well, from an experience standpoint, I don't think anything comes quite close to this. The kind of the kind of experience that is riding this motorcycle, it cannot be explained. You know, you have to ride this to know what I'm talking about. The suspension does not dive if you brake; it just stays stable. The engine is butter smooth. I love the way the engine sounds. the low center of gravity the ease with which you can ride it that dynamic suspension oh man that quick shifter brilliant look at this at low speeds also the quick shifter just works so well i, I could never do that on a ktm that was a first gear turn in my ktm you know and this is a cat okay this is a cat so like in a cat it judges you know the the, the width of a space it the cat judges by the width of its whiskers so apparently if the whiskers go through of a cat the cat can just the whole body goes through it's something similar if the handlebars go through your bike is going to go through because it's quite uh, misleading at times that you know you see that there's only so much and then you look down and you know there's that huge cylinder heads which are like popping out of the motorcycle so yeah you got to be uh, wary of that you got to keep that in mind if you buy this motorcycle that is or if you get to ride it see like a splendor so easy and we have some bad patches of road from here saddling is easy on this i mean on the, this on this broken surface i can't even make out i mean you can just feel that in my voice it's not shivering or anything because of the bad roads that's how good the ride on this is so yeah it's become a habit now that i just saddle as soon as i see a bad patch of road what about fuel economy I have no clue. It's not called fuel economy for sure on this. I've filled. I am sure at least ten to fifteen liters, and <laughs> let's not let's not talk about that. Again, we are riding in city, so I couldn't expect more in terms of fuel economy. so easy to negotiate bad roads on this as much as possible avoid if you can't don't worry the suspension just handles it let me just 
demonstrate how easy it is to get around potholes when I find a few here and there are a lot here. Guess all the money to fix the roads went into giving off freebies. There. And some more. Yeah, it's not that the suspension can't handle it. There's a real reason why I'm saddling because I'm more comfortable uh, avoiding potholes when I'm saddling or making those quick uh, turns on uh, unpredictable surface. So that's something I have learned since the time I picked up my 390 Adventure. You know, these unpredictable roads, let's say you're doing some fair, fair amount of speeds and if anything pops up unexpectedly, trust me, the bike will sort it for you. It's that advanced. Yes, it does draw a lot of attention. You know, I, when I had this bike and when I was just riding it around, everywhere, every signal that I stopped at, the people next to me would just look at me. I was, I would deliberately avoid making any eye contact because I know after that I'll have to end up answering a zillion questions. And it's eventually going to boil down to two things in that conversation. One is the mileage and the other is the price of the motorcycle and both of them are uh, something that is very difficult to explain to regular people. So when I say regular people who don't know about this motorcycle or motorcycles in general and people with less than below average skill also will be able to ride this motorcycle quite comfortably. It is definitely intimidating to look at but once you are on it, I'm telling you, this is by far one of the easiest big motorcycles I've ever ridden. Oh yeah, one last thing I forgot to mention. It's a shaft drive, unlike the conventional chain drive system. So it's a lot smoother that way. As smoothness, there is no shortage of that on this motorcycle. The engine, the suspension, the drive, everything is so well made, so well thought of. I am quite convinced. I want to own this at some point, sooner than later. If this is, and this is 1250, if this is so good, I wonder what the 1300 is going to be like. Oh world of motorcycles it's pure love it's pure love thank you once again adrian thank you so much